Welcome to the asparagus staging tutorial for the Kerbal Space Program. In this tutorial, I will show you how to construct the asparagus launch stage, and I'll also show you a side-by-side -side launch with a rocket using the asparagus system, and the same rocket but not set up in the asparagus style. So let's get to it. So right now I have a command module with a stack decoupler and a parachute so that we can get Jeb back down to the ground safely. And underneath that I have a fuel tank and a single nozzle. That will be the central portion of our asparagus staging. Around that I will put six radial decouplers and some more fuel tanks and some more nozzles. Those will act as the outer asparagus stalks. And then the core of the asparagus staging is the way that we funnel the fuel from one tank to another. The goal is to only be using fuel from two tanks, and once those are empty, we can eject those tanks and start with the next set. So we will grab the fuel lines, and then make sure that I'm not on six times symmetry. So I'll grab those, one time symmetry. Okay, so we'll start with the outer one, and we'll connect two of the outer fuel tanks. We'll continue down the line, connecting the next two. And then once those three tanks are connected, we'll take that last one and we'll connect it to the main uh, fuel tank. And then we will do the same on the next side. So we'll grab uh, some more fuel lines, connect the next two, and then that one to the next one. And then finally, that last fuel tank to the central run. So we have a symmetrical model with fuel tanks running from two of the outermost ones, leading, both leading into the central run. So once, th that is the asparagus staging system in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. It's just the way that you connect the fuel lines. Then you want to make sure that your stages are correct. So I'm going to grab the outermost uh, radial decouplers. I'm going to put them in their own stage and create a new stage and then add the next two decouplers and then that'll leave us with the last two decouplers in the stage after that. And then I'm going to make sure that all seven engines fire at once. And so that's the asparagus system. So here's the launch. On the left we have the asparagus system and on the right we have the very same rocket but without the fuel lines. So we see as we start off we use just using fuel from two of the tanks at a time. We ejected those tanks and then we're just using the fuel from the next set of tanks. Once those are done, which they almost are, we will eject those and we still have full tank, full fuel in the remaining tanks. So we're using the outermost tanks now and notice that on the rocket not using the asparagus system, all the tanks drain equally and we still have all of that added mass. So we run out of fuel now, but on the asparagus system, we still have a full central tank and a lot of fuel left in the outer tanks. So we'll eject those. We see on the non-asparagus system, we have an apoiasis of about 30,000 meters. And we're done with the fuel, we stopped accelerating. But with the asparagus system, we're still having acceleration and our apoiasis is shooting out there. Um, the asparagus system is much more efficient just because we're able to um, release and eject those empty fuel tanks and so we don't have that dry mass weighing us down and also the drag from those tanks slowing down our acceleration. So right now we have run out of fuel for our asparagus system and we notice that we have an apoapsis of about 1.3 million meters compared to the 30,000 meters for the non-asparagus system. So this was the tutorial for the asparagus launch stage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.